finally the roof has arrived for the beehive and it's one of those jobs that I just need to get done so I can clear up some space inside the shed and this is going to give me the ability to put the hive outside. They still don't have the floor in stock. It's been out of stock now for probably the best part of six months on their website in the UK. So I'm waiting for the floor to arrive, but I can put the hives out because my stands out in the woodlands are elevated. I technically don't need the floor stand when there isn't any bees in there. So I can just stick the actual boxes out with the roof on and that will mean that they're basically water resistant or waterproof. Um, and they'll be fine to be out. And then when the floor arrives, I can just pop those on top of it. So it's gonna mean that I can get all of the boxes that are currently inside the shed out, which is a job that I needed to do when I was sorting out the shed originally, and I realized I didn't have a roof. So here's the roof, I'm gonna quickly build this, and that will be a good job done. So I've done this a few times now, so I should be able to complete the task without the destructions instructions that is. Lids and I have just got back from a lovely dog walk. It's actually so wet out at the moment that on the weekend when we took the boys out we were swimming with them <laughs> to get through our normal route and so this morning we did a different route. It was very nice. Not quite as long. I'd say we're probably out for um, about three quarters of the amount of time and it just meant that we were able to stretch the boys legs we got out as well, which was really lovely. And <clears throat> hopefully we're gonna start the week off on the right foot. Gym session this morning, Lids had her PT in. give the spacer so you can get equal depth either side of the roof which is a very clever and convenient little addition. Well, with the increase of temperature recently, the bees have been getting out and in particular they've been enjoying one of the first blossoms of the year, which is this plum tree, European plum tree, and it's got this lovely white blossom, as you can see. It's a wonderful job of attracting all kinds of pollinators, and so yeah, they've been enjoying this to kickstart the season and I'm gonna go and quickly take you up and show you the bees in action because they're currently enjoying their fondant also. The snowdrops have been coming up very nicely in the woods. So after last year's woodpecker incident, you can see that I've just put a little bit of chicken wire around the back of the hive just to give them a bit of protection. I actually should be wrapping this completely if I'm honest, but this is all we had and the woodpecker was here the other day and it wasn't able to get to the back like last year so it has worked to some extent if we just take this roof off you can see inside the bees are working their way through the ambrosio which is the fondant that I used to feed them over the Christmas period 
and they're doing very well there's still plenty left which is good and they will have this cleaned up i would say within the next month this will be all gone nice and healthy from what i can see all you can really do is look in and do some health inspections to see if they've got any wing deformity any mite on them i've been tracking the varroa count anyway um, on the tray and everything's looking good and yeah it's nice to see them out and about and also keep them busy within the hive and hopefully getting ready to prepare to build their colony so that's all we can really show you at the moment with the beehives but it's been a very wet and miserable week or two hasn't it so i'm sure that days like today when the sun's shining they'll be using every opportunity to get out and the same with this hive i had a look in here yesterday i would say that they're not quite as far through the fondant as these guys but they've started on it and they're looking good as well so the bees are good they're alive they survived the winter months which is fantastic i absolutely love it when the sun shines through these woods so obviously I do need to get around to painting the roof at some stage, but that's managed to get a couple of boxes, the eek, the feeder, the queen excluder, super, all of that out of my shed. So I've now freed up a nice amount of space, which has freed up my worktop in that shed, which is fantastic. So we've achieved what we set out to do. And as I mentioned, when we get the floor that you can see here, we'll stick that onto this box, which will complete another hive. And then we'll end up with four usable hives still need to get around to decorating this but i didn't want to do it last year because i didn't want to interrupt the bees as they were getting ready for overwintering and so instead i'm going to be hitting this in the probably spring summer time um, with a coat of white paint so we have four nice white hives in the woodland so we're slowly getting there but that is all i can cover at the moment with the bees I think that I'm going to do a couple of little jobs in the garden because it is an absolutely glorious day today and we'll revisit these guys in early spring. So last week a couple of slabs were laid down with a brick border because during the winter months when it gets really muddy out here the chickens and us have to tread through quite a slushy muddy section as we enter and exit and so we thought this would be a nice way to try to maintain a little bit of tidiness in the space and it just makes it feel a bit more formal and so i just quickly need to chuck a little bit of dried sand into the joints just because it was a bit wet when they were doing it the other day and then just brush that off and then this section is then ready really for us to start putting the wildflower in which you'll see we can we've started to mark out all the way along the garden just to complement the rest of the wildflower that we had put in last year so we are also making good progress with the chicken coop as well creating a nice environment for the hens Can do. So that's just nicely sealed up the gaps on the bricks around and job complete lovely stuff I thought whilst we have the sand we may as well do these ones again as well Thank you. 
and just like that very quick easy way just to tidy up those gaps I've even done this little threshold here and this is the products we're using nice and simple all you need is a brush and it just tidies up those areas that have got a little bit weathered over the winter months happy hens good girls I hope there's going to be a chance for our wildflower to come through this year. You know, I've got a guilty face on you there, Snowbell. Beautiful sounds of the English countryside. There's a good chance you're not going to be able to hear, but there's just a very soft buzz. They're slowly gathering in numbers as the news gets out to the colony. And there's a good food source just up the road. weather has turned but the jobs still need doing so we're in the chicken coop doing a daily spot clean and also collecting the eggs we currently have three They're very lovely and um, there actually isn't too much going on in here I feel like it's I'm starting to think that maybe Lydia's been out already because there is nothing to spot clean wow. We've got some really nice lemons coming, looking really good. So it's going to be exciting to see if we get a nice flow of lemons this year. Because Didier's having lemons every single day. Not, not like you to be out in the wet, is it? Oh, you daredevil you. You daredevil you. Well, whilst it's a bit miserable outside, we can get inside the greenhouse because there is a job that needs to be done. Ladies first. It's nice in here, isn't it? So as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that's been pulled out from the shelves. And that is because Lydia has had a seed thief. We've had a little mousy coming in and pinching all of the seeds. I think this is the third time that Lydia's started to try to seed up in here and she's getting eaten alive. So we put a mouse trap in, which there has been no success. A humane one, I must add. And you can see we've put a little bit of Lumi's food in the back. And uh, yeah, it's just a humane mouse trap, but no success. And so I decided to take all of the stuff off the shelf where we know the mouse has been. We've got the mouse drop-ins and also you can see where it's nibbled onto the labels of some products. Lumi's currently on my back. Unbelievable. So anyway, the point I was trying to make is that I wanted to come into the greenhouse to just tidy up the mess that the mouse has made, get everything sort of cleaned up and back in place so it's just tidy again in here so Lydia can come in here and work. And I think what's happening is the mouse is just coming under the gap in the door and it's coming in, taking what it needs to take and then leaving again because there is a small chance that it's just not found the humane trap yet but i do i do think that we've had such success with these inside the house i'd be surprised it wasn't tempted by some lovely cat food so i'm not sure there isn't huge amounts of places for it to hide and the only place that i can't get access to out of everywhere in here is inside these little tunnels that you can see here which are holding up the shelving unit and so I'm going to shine my light and torch from my phone and look down them to see if it's living in there but apart from that I can pretty much see everywhere else in here you can get to all the nooks and crannies so yes I'm going to have a little uh, search for it and see if we can kindly persuade it out into the woods but I don't think it's in here if I'm completely honest I think it's coming and going right Lumi up 
So we've been able here to just separate some of the, um, I don't know what you call this. These are um, water retaining pebble stones and these live on top of Livia's workstation here. And we obviously have have some of those fall through onto the ground and because the weight of the gravel in comparison to these, these are relatively light, we're able to sweep them off the top and um, so we get minimal wastage, which is good. Another place that mice like to live are inside terracotta pots because they can get access through the holes at the top and when you have them placed down like this, this creates a nice, warm, safe environment for them to sleep. So always make sure you check underneath your pots as well because you might find a little surprise in there. I think I forgot to show you what this looked like before, but we've had a nice tidy up now, swept out some of the areas, cleaned up the centre table, so when Lydia comes back in here, she'll be very pleased. I'm sure it'll put a smile on her face when she sees that it's nice and tidy in here. Ready for her to get planting. Lots going on in here at the moment. Getting ready for the spring months. No sign of a mouse, but that was expected. And it is still very wet today. Very lovely sound though, I have to admit. Well, I think that brings my day's work in the garden to an end. A very short and sweet one today, but I don't fancy going out in the rain today. Some days I don't care, and other days I'm like, today's not the day. I'm gonna be heading down to London this afternoon for an event in the evening, and I've already showered, and I've already done my hair ready to go down, so I thought, do you know what? I'm not gonna go out and get soaking wet and have to do all of that again. I'm gonna stay in the dry, which is why we've come into the greenhouse, but, we will continue working on creating this space. It's going to all start coming to life very soon. We're literally on the brink of everything bursting out of its seams. So it's nice to see the wildflowers. Say hello, darling. You don't like the rain, do you? It's nice to see the wildflowers starting to come up and everything's pretty much set. Liz and I have been working on getting the garden prepared for spring, summer. And so now it's just letting nature do its work, which is very exciting. So. We are going to wrap up this week's video. I'm going to go inside, get myself freshened up and dressed ready for my event this evening. My event's with Sky. It's an introduction to all of the new films and series that are going to be coming out in 2024. So it should be very insightful and very enjoyable. And uh, I'll probably be documenting that on another platform. So anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 5pm. Take care.